Hello everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.12 fast with absolutely no lag. We have seen incredible results from this before, so uh, just keep that in mind. Like We've seen people go from like 20 FPS to like 150 FPS. That makes the game unplayable to extremely playable. So I can't promise results from this, but what I can say is it's worked a ton of times for a lot of people. Also, please do keep in mind that this video is brought to you by game servers. The first link down below and you get an awesome Minecraft server from them for just one dollar per month. I've also got a text tutorial down below. I talk fast so it might be a good idea to uh, go there and check that out. Anyway, as you can see we're starting off here in the Minecraft launcher. We're not starting off in game, we're starting off in the launcher. Now first thing we want to do is click on the three arrows right up here in the top and from there we want to go into launch settings. Once you're here you're going to be able to see the versions of Minecraft that uh, you have. Now you better have Optifine installed because that's what we're going to be using for this tutorial. If you don't, click the eye above my head or the second link down below and it will take you off to uh, see our Optifine tutorial, show you knew exactly how to download Optifine, get it installed. Once you've done that, come back to this video and uh, we'll be able to get going. After you've made sure you've got the Optifine version installed there, go ahead and click on it. So you click on Optifine there and you can see a whole bunch of options that we've got going on here. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is resolution. The reason I want to talk about resolution is it's very, very important to how well your computer can run the game. The lower these numbers are, the better chance you have of running the game with no lag. I would recommend probably 1280 by 720. That's going to keep it playable. You could also try 640 by 480, so 640 by 480, and that might be playable. It's going to be kind of like a square almost. But overall, the smaller you make this, the better performance you're going to have, but you're also going to make your game smaller, right? So that's going to be a problem. Something else I want to touch on is JVM arguments right here. As you can see, I've got XMX 4G, right? I have 32 gigabytes, actually, of RAM in my computer. So I can definitely dedicate 4 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. However, if you don't have 32 gigabytes of RAM, do not put 4 gigabytes here. If you have 16 gigabytes, you might be able to swing 4 gigabytes for Minecraft. But overall, you want to make sure that this is no more than half of the RAM you have in your computer. And really, I would like to leave it at just a fourth of the RAM you have in your computer, Max. But uh, yeah, anyway. So what you want to do is XMX right here and change this to, let's say you have a computer with 4 gigabytes of RAM, you could change this to 1G. That's going to dedicate 1 gigabyte of RAM to Minecraft. Now if what I'm talking about right here is kind of confusing to you and you don't understand how much RAM you have or you don't know how much RAM you have, don't touch this, just leave it the same and go ahead and click save. Now we can go ahead, hit the X up here and, wait, wait, what? No. Go over here to News and then click Play. But we want to make sure we've got that Optifine version we were talking about clicked. So click on that and then click Play. And now we're good to kind of basically set up Optifine. That's kind of what we're doing from this point on. But it's how I set up Optifine here that really gets you the incredible results that um, we've seen in the past. So anyway, going through all of this, we want to do graphics on fast. We want to do render distance on tiny. Yeah, I know we can barely see, but it's going to really improve your performance. Smooth lighting is going to be off. Frame light, I'm going to go ahead and make that unlimited because I want to see how much FPS I can get. Now, I have a beast gaming PC here, so I'm probably going to get like 1,000, 1,500 plus FPS. But anyway, smooth lighting, we want to turn that off. View bobbing, off or on, doesn't really affect performance. GUI scale, the smaller this is, the better, right? So if I'm, you make it this small, it's going to be better performing for you. However, can you see that? Because I can barely see it. So anyway, we're going to make that bigger again. That way you guys can actually see what's going on. Use VBOs. We want to turn that on. Brightness doesn't really affect performance. Just wherever you feel better. Crosshair, attack indicator, cross it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter either for performance. However, dynamics lights does and you want those to be off. You want dynamic FOV to be off. You want shaders to not exist, right? You shouldn't have any shaders installed if you want to perform well in Minecraft. For quality, we want to check minimap levels because that doesn't matter. Nearest minimap doesn't matter. However, anthroscopic filtering needs to be off. Anti-aliasing off. Clear water off. Everything on this page is off. Every single thing on this page needs to be turned off. Click done and then over here to details. On details, it needs to either be off you can see, cloud high off, 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 or it needs to be fast, like trees, translucent blocks can be fast, 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 fast. It's either off or it's fast. If it has both, right, because I think clouds, see, they have fast clouds. No, we either want off 
Off is better or fast, right? So turn clouds off, turn trees on fast. You can't turn trees off, so you got to turn them on fast, right? Does that make sense? Off, and then if you don't have off, you choose fast, and then you're good to go. Fog start doesn't matter because we're turning fog off. All right, go ahead and click done there. Over to performance. Smooth FPS needs to be on. Smooth world actually needs to be off because I want to see how much FPS I can get here. If I turn smooth world on, it's going to stabilize my FPS. You might give that a try if uh, you're doing this, but for the purpose of the story, I wanna see how much FPS I can get. Fast rendering needs to be on, fast math needs to be on, chunk updates, make that one dynamic updates on, and lazy loading on. Basically, we're making this thing as optimized as possible. For animations, this one's easy. Just come down here to the bottom and click all off. Boom, done. Click done there, and then on other, lagometer doesn't matter. If you wanna see what kind of lag you can have, as you can see, it comes up on the screen here and tells you. If you hit F3, you'll be able to see whether you're having memory garbage collection, which is kind of like a RAM style lag, a tick lag. You know, there's a bunch of different kinds of lag, and uh, you can see kind of what it is there. That can help you optimize this if you wanna optimize your settings for success there and to get the best performance while also getting the best quality, but I just want the best performance out of this video. Debug profile off doesn't matter. Show FPS, I'm gonna turn that on so you guys can see what kind of FPS I'm getting. If you want to see what kind of FPS you're getting, you can turn that on as well. Advanced tooltips doesn't matter. Weather needs to be off. Time is default. Full screen needs to be off. Full screen mode can leave it default because full screen's off. Doesn't matter. 3D obviously needs to be off. And let's talk about autosave. As far as autosaving goes, I recommend leaving it at three minutes. If you are noticing lag spikes every three minutes, if you have this set at three minutes, you could take the risk of turning it to 30 minutes, but beware, okay? Beware about this because if you put your autosave at 30 minutes and your game crashes, your computer dies, something like that, you could possibly lose up to 30 minutes of work in Minecraft. Now, I don't know about you, but losing three minutes of work in Minecraft not too bad. Losing 30 minutes of work in Minecraft would make me a little angry. So, I like to leave it at 3 minutes because I can redo that pretty quickly. 30 minutes and not so much. Screenshot size doesn't really matter. I'd recommend not taking screenshots uh, to optimize performance there. Last thing I want to touch on is resource patch. You don't need to have one on. Just leave default. Just leave it where it is and you'll be good to go. No reason to install any resource packs. 90% of them are going to make you lag worse. 10% of them won't have too much of an effect and, well, probably 5% of them won't have too much of an effect and then 5% will be pretty bad. Anyway, we're just going to load in this test survival world I have right here and uh, we're going to check our FPS. So we see it climbing in the top left up there, 580, 600. If I stand still, it'll probably go up even more. 700. I think that's a success there. Surprising. Typically, I can get in the thousands. Oh, there we go. 800. It's climbing. There we go. 1,100 FPS. Uh, the, the limiting factor there, I did go change an option during that quick little jump cut. And uh, what I changed was over here, I had smooth FPS on. While that's great for you, it's not too great if you want to get over 1,000 FPS uh, because it's going to like try to limit your FPS a little bit there and smooth it out and make it fluctuate less. But there you go, over 1,000 FPS for me. Let me know what FPS you got in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been The Breakdown. Please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, turn on post notifications because we post every single day. Well, not every single day. We post five videos a week, uh, but they're pretty good videos. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I already said that. I'm Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I'm out, guys. Peace.